on this hour is one of my very best friends for many, many years, Jay Widener, filmmaker, researcher, writer, extraordinarily talented and capable man in this age of mediocrity. He shines, and uh, I want you to pay close attention. I shouldn't even have to say that to you regulars. You know, when Jay is on, uh, we always talk about things that you will never see or hear anywhere else except on his program. You have a program, don't you? Uh, no, I really don't. I'm a oh. programmer of a network, yeah. a fledgling network, but no, I have no programming at all. Good. Well, you, this is your program then. It probably is. In a way. Yeah. yeah. Now, somebody recently remarked, or I read it, I read it, that a number of Hollywood stars have made a deal to get where they are, right? Now, yep. <clears throat> we've watched them getting in at Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, to name just a couple. We've watched them with the paparazzi and when they, they get out of their, their, their limos, how they accidentally uh, open their legs when they step out and they have no underwear on. You know, these accidents, wardrobe malfunctions. And then beyond that, how they, they literally pander to young, innocent minds with the most vile sexuality you can imagine. And that's all backed up, of course, by big big industry, clothing industry, uh, gimmicks, toys, and all that, pole dancing kits for five-year-old girls. If this doesn't make you folks sick, and then let's back it up a little further with the outrageous number of, of pedophiles on this planet. Pedophilia is far more common than any of you probably could imagine. It is all over the place. So we what we have here is an issue that Jay's going to pick up and, and talk about now. And there may be some reason that is will come as a shock to you as to why these certain people make it big. When you, you can look at them and know damn well they don't have any talent, doesn't matter. Uh, Jay, go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> that's a, a good way to begin. So uh, let's just start with uh, <clears throat> Miley Cyrus, because she's a good place to start. Her father, who is Billy Ray Cyrus, is a country western star, and he came out, and you can Google this, I think a couple of years ago, and he said that his family was being attacked by the devil, and no one understood what he was talking about. They just thought he was another country western no, wacko, and uh, um, of course, his daughter is the star of the Disney show, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, a, a children's show in which she plays a very sweet little one of the most girl. innocent little females mm -hmm. ever. Uh -huh. Yep. Actually, in some ways, kind of an appealing character. And um, now that I've seen it much, or what little I've seen, I, you know, she is somewhat appealing. Well, then we cut to what happened about two or three weeks ago, where she, uh, with her very short, kind of bull dyke kind of haircut, uh, with two little um, rubber bands uh, creating a devil horns kind of thing, um, she had she, she had braids on the top of her head, folks, mm -hmm. that were replicating um, satanic Horn. horns. Yeah. yeah. And then she had sex with a teddy bear at the beginning of this tirade um, where she's humping a, a teddy bear. And as people who are fans of my work know that um, the teddy bear is a sign of, of course, it, it's a, if you if you uh, Google in pedo bear, you'll see that the uh, teddy bear is a signal among uh, pedos uh, uh, of when they were uh, oh, really? onto something. Oh yeah, I, t I just type in pedo bear. Stanley Kubrick used uh, uh, teddy bears in all of his movies where he was trying to indicate pedophilia. Lolita has teddy bears all over her bed. Um, at the very end of Eyes Wide Shut, the uh, child of Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise walks off into the shadow surrounded by all these teddy bears that are uh, uh, set oh. to jump down on That's top the future. of future, yeah, there it is. And, and so Miley Cyrus, and I'll, I'll explain this more clearly, My, so Miley Cyrus has sex with a teddy bear, then she has sex with this other man, all simulated, of course, uh, uh, with her tongue hanging out of the mouth like she's Linda Blair from The Exorcist, and um, singing whatever that pathetic song was. I could barely handle listening to it. I turned off the sound. Just, I was so fascinated by it. So, so what's going on there? Well, um, uh, here's what I'm going to tell you. Miley Cyrus is trying out, uh, that was her tryout, uh, to be a star. 
uh, a true star in Hollywood, and I guarantee she will be a star now. Um, she was bowing in fealty to her masters, um, of doing exactly what they want her to do, which is to go from a pure, sweet little girl to the devil uh, and to bring along the generation that is her followers with her. And um, I know you think I'm crazy and everything, and maybe not, there not is a me. Devil. Maybe there is a devil. But either way, I'd like to play that clip of a person from our generation, probably the most famous American pop singer after Elvis, Bob Dylan. Um, do we have that? Or yeah, I'll have it in just a minute. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll do it. Just so, keep so, going. and there's a, there's a there's a there's a method to this madness, folks. So we we want to say also <laughs> that. This is, has nothing to do with misogyny, all right? Because men are just as guilty of it. Look at Jason. What's his name? Bieber? Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber, right. yeah. Well, these people are all making deals, all right? They are making deals. They are. They are, they are selling themselves up. Miley Cyrus, that was her, I wouldn't call it an audition as much as a, a right it was a satanic it, it right. It was. It was a satanic right of pedophilia, of um, of uh, because even the sex act that she simulates with the singer is more really more of a homosexual sex act. Um, so it, everything was this kind of a bow of fealty to the uh, satanic masters that she is sure that doing this is going to get her in the door, and it will. Oh, she's and, there. And she, Billy she, Ray she, Cyrus, she, her yeah. father, knows this. And he actually said it a couple of years ago when he saw the beginning of her downfall, no doubt. Okay, here's uh, here's something from Bobby Dylan, Bobby yep. Bobby Zimmerman. Yep. Uh, where he, all, all, this is a YouTuber, you can see it, 2 million yeah. views, so people are yeah. catching on. Unfortunately, yeah. a lot of the people who watch this like it. They They want to make a deal. Because we'll talk more about that. Satanism exactly. is, is, That's where is, we're going. is a new hot religion, so to speak, yep. uh, or club. All right, Bob Dylan, Bobby Zimmerman, admits he sold his soul to the devil. All right, here we go. You're doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. What? Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. I'm, I'm going to do something Stop. I don't do too often here. I'm going to play this again because yep. I want you to listen real carefully. And he does uh, say the D of devil. He does. He says, I made a deal with the D, the and then he stops. And, I, and that wasn't an edit. He stopped. Yep. All right, here we go. Now, this is, this is the great Bobby Zimmerman. <laughs> You're doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. What do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. You know, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. All right, there it is now. That man was speaking 100% honestly. Yeah, he's old yep. now. He's uh, just saying this is the way it was. I made a deal with the devil to gain the popularity and notoriety. And I, I, I got to say also, just this may offend some of you who like Bobby D., I never liked him. I never thought he was particularly talented. I thought his lyrics were often contrived. Uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going, what are you doing? Uh, I just didn't like the guy. Something was wrong with him. I, I, there was something disingenuous about him. I don't know what it was, Jay. I never was comfortable with the guy. Maybe well, maybe this was it. <clears throat> well, you know, then you have to ask yourself, okay, so what was the deal, right? Absolutely. Then, the, then you go look at, you, at his early stuff. And um, it's a lot of uh, anti-war protest, 
and uh, a lot of that kind of thing. Uh, and then he had a yeah, so-called voter fine. side. <clears throat> right. And, um, but what was the real point of it? And the real point of it was to cause dissension to descend us into feudalism, which is really the whole point of the show that I'm trying to do tonight. Um, it, well, we're out of break, so it's a good point. No, we're going to go through break. We're going to go through this. I want to hear this. I've go got, ahead. I've got a lot, I've got a yeah, lot of things do. to do. All right. And so, you know, we're, we, we have to understand that starting in the 60s, we, be, we began the propaganda descent into feudalism, which is where this is all headed. And Bob Dylan was one of the Pied Pipers. And maybe it was the unfettered adulation that they showered on the guy. It was all fake. And, uh, thank you. And if you read about his early days, his early years, he was hanging out with, uh, who was Alan he living Ginsburg. with? Alan, Alan, Ginsburg. Alan Bisexual Ginsburg. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you got to think about that. Uh, there's just something, something wrong. And all of a sudden, he, he starts going by Bob Dylan, not Bob Zimmerman, and he vaults out of nowhere. That didn't just happen, folks. No. So, tell me more about Zimmerman or or next. We got Miley. Uh, yep. you, you notice how, excuse me, but you notice, folks, how her really disgusting, <laughs> pr- contrived, perverted performance was howled and blessed by many in the audience. Yes, there were some comments of combination, comment, and condemnation, both from the uh, so-called older part of the establishment. But the younger people were cheery. They loved it. And this thing, about she must have put a five-pound weight on her tongue to get it to be able to stick out that far. Uh, that was a little suspicious. Remind me of Gene Simmons. Uh, that, that's Maybe a, she had a cut like he did. I don't know. Did, you know, oh, he, did he have a bottom muscle cut? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he, yeah, that's how he does that. He cut the little thing that holds the uh, oh. tongue down. Yeah, she may have done that. It looked like it. Well, um, it, it was, it was, you know, it was, uh, there is no doubt what she was doing to me, uh, to anyone who understands the symbols of the pedophilia cult. She was bowing to them and, and, and saying, I will lead, you know, the girls that are my fans into your arms. That's ultimately, that's right. Ultimately, that was a, to me, a submissive performance to the masters. It was. It was completely submissive. It was Be- everything that she did was submissive. And um, and she knows it, which is what's strange is. So she must be a victim of it herself yeah. because she couldn't yeah. have gotten the symbols down so well. Coming mm-hmm. out from in between the legs of the te- giant teddy bear, the whole thing was, you know, this entire uh, sculpted performance uh, with symbols of the, of the giant pedophilia cult, which is running the music industry, apparently. Mm-hmm. 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 And uh, Satan is their master. Ave Satanis, as Jimmy Saville said, as he was in the bottom of the all-girls hospital uh, with oh, the cloak that, okay. on. Okay. <clears throat> so we, we have to come to the conclusion whether you believe in Satan or not, and I, I certainly think that question is up, uh, up for grabs. Uh, these people believe it. Bob Dylan that, that, believes it. That's all it takes. Uh, this is you, probably you why Bob Dylan, yeah. Bob Dylan did the Christianity thing in the early 80s. Could be. He may he may have, you know, been trying to retrieve some part of himself and was a desperate move and then realized that he could never do it because, as he said, you know, it's destiny. Produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally, I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur videos en English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. 
ya algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I am sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my fir the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, e explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y 
la próxima vez cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero and the next time you see again a person begging for money on the street und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder Trinkgeld im Restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin, de direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen druckt, auch die, äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Adress-Schlüsseln, ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de... Abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015. Plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin, eh, en estos cuatro años yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Ähm, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo he explicado eh, cómo he tomado la decisión de los cuatro años. In my old video I explained how I made the decision for the four years. In meinem original video habe ich erklärt, wie ich zu 
die Entscheidung getroffen habe äh, mit den vier Jahren. A continuación voy a pegar este video. Now later I will paste this video. Im Anschluss werde ich diesen Video ankleben. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy económico. Uh, at the moment the price of Bitcoin is very cheap. Pero casi todo el mundo tiene muy poco dinero para invertir. But almost everybody has uh, very little money to invest. Debería decir que esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a rather a game. Um, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y... This gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cla clave privada, que es la clave secreta. 
you explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me and uh, explica esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later explain. Después lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. It's uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, Puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So uh, it's, this is the game part, if uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person, but if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out, and it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada, y si por ejemplo, okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta. 
das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have, have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin.